and the wife of Fire Deputy FBI Director Anna McCabe now speaking out, first time now, calling out President Trump in a brand new piece in the Washington Post, writing this, the president attacked my reputation. It's time to set the record straight. Now that I can speak on my own behalf, I want people to know that the whole story that everything is based on is just false and utterly absurd. Byron York, political correspondent for the Washington Examiner and a Fox News contributor with me in studio. And good day to you. Let's morning, back up a little bit now. McCabe's been fired. His wife, Jill, ran for state office in Virginia with a lot of money and a lot of Democratic support. She lost that office. And today, we now have her first response. What do you think is in this piece? Byron? Well, the questions that were initially raised were that she ran with the, with the great support of Terry McAuliffe, who was the governor, Democratic governor of Virginia, and very close to Hillary Clinton while her husband was involved in the Hillary Clinton email affair. Should he, the investigation, should he have recused himself from that? One of the things we actually learned in this that it wasn't widely known was that Andrew McCabe, along with his wife, actually met with Governor McAuliffe as she was considering running. I don't think we knew that before. But basically she said, look, everything we talked about was about Medicaid expansion. Uh, I ran because I wanted to make things better for Virginians. This had nothing to do with my husband. Okay. She says he's a reliable Republican. Yes. She describes herself as a voting Republican and Democrat. Correct. All of that is in the piece. What's not in the piece is just as telling. She does not address the Clinton email investigation. She does not, and, and not what her husband should have done. Now, we do know that the Inspector General's report, which covers Andrew McCabe's conduct, as well as James Comey's and others, uh, is coming out sometime. Uh, we're in early April now. We think it may be around the beginning of May. We also know that Andrew McCabe set up a GoFundMe legal defense fund, which he, a spokesperson said that he closed down last night after it gathered more than $500,000. So it's not small change. He's expecting some sort of legal expense. You think that's why he's doing it to get ready for his own? Well, he said right? he said two things when in setting up the account uh, to anticipate any legal expenses and also any lawsuit he might mm -hmm. uh, pursue against someone else. Did you think this is a some sort of revelation um, in the Washington Post based on her story? Do you, do you think it advances? the story that we've been tracking so far? Just a little bit, but I think what you see with the McCabe's now, both Andrew McCabe, who wrote a piece earlier, and now his wife, Jill McCabe, I think you see a kind of public relations offensive to try to get ahead of uh, possible bad publicity that's coming out, not just publicity, but bad substance that could be coming out in the IG report. Got another story. I want to get you real quick here for the minute left. President Trump was tweeting about Jeff Sessions yet again yesterday. Yeah. All right, here is the tweet that went out. So sad. Department of Justice and the FBI are slow walking or even not giving the unredacted documents requested by Congress an embarrassment to our country. That's the tweet. Trust me on that. Bill McGurn writes in the Wall Street Journal, in part defending Sessions, saying this, by reading the riot act to his reluctant FBI director and shunning the appointment of another special counsel, Mr. Sessions has rendered a service to the Constitution, to good government, and even to Mr. Trump, though he may not realize it, perhaps even worthy of a celebratory presidential tweet. The title is Thank You, Jeff Sessions. What is there? Uh, McGurn has a point, which is that Session, from the president's perspective, Sessions has done two positive things. One, Sessions clearly leaned on the FBI director to be more responsive to congressional uh, investigation request. Remember when Paul Ryan accused the FBI of stonewalling Congress? Mm -hmm. So Jeff Sessions has leaned on the FBI to put an end to that. The other thing is these, quote, special arrangement that Sessions has put together to investigate the Trump investigation. And a lot of uh, Republicans have been unhappy with that. But the man appointed to do that, John Huber, who was the U.S. attorney in Utah, was actually a favorite of Mike Lee and Orrin Hatch, the two Republican senators there. And he has a lot of powers that an inspector general might not have. Okay, read it. Check it out in the Wall Street Journal. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bill. Two days in a row, Byron York in New York City in person. <laughs> Great nice to, to be here.